Hey, morning guys. How are you guys all doing? Good? I hope so. Had your coffee? Tea? I hate to say it. Mountain Dew? Red Bull? Monster? Whatever it is you guys need to get going in the morning. Hopefully we'll have no audio issues today. Yesterday was a little bit of a pain in the ass. Yeah, hopefully everything goes smoothly today. So, we are having hip-hop all day today. I have got so much hip-hop to catch up on, guys. Not only do I have my new artists, I have my regular artists, and I have other artists. I have, And there are so many challenges going on right now, at any rate. I'm going to stop talking because there's a lot of shit to get done. Our first one up today is Echo, Cold Summer Remix. Let's get it. Some shit that I wrote on some uh, down, down quarantine type shit, you know what I mean? I know what you mean. Yeah. Now I'm not trying to win a challenge, I'm trying to find some balance. Going down this rabbit hole and hopes to find my Alice But I found that action futile, I need to practice moving on Cause I got calluses from holding on to shit too long I'm writing songs and hopes to find myself in all these words And trying to make a little money in the process, sure But first, tell me what the fuck is happiness Cause I've been looking back and trying to see when I was happiest I got Ooh, okay I'm just gonna stop you right there Cause <laughs> that shit resonates with me Going down the rabbit hole trying to find his Alice but he's got to stop that shit because he's got calluses from trying to hold on to shit. <sighs> he's got to stop doing that because he's got to learn to move on. Speaking the truth, guys, you guys got to listen to this shit, man. In the process, sure, but first, tell me what the fuck is happiness? Because I've been looking back and trying to see when I was happiest. I got the thing I wanted, now I'm dying trying to manage it. Yes, I'm a sucker for a beat drop. Fuck is happiness, cause I've been looking back and trying to see when I was happiest. I got the thing I wanted, now I'm dying trying to manage it. Think that I was happier before I even had this shit, okay? Oh, yeah. Tell me what the fuck to do now. I spent a decade building this house, then wanna move out. You lose now, then everybody talking shit was right. But what does it matter in the grand scheme of life, right? Like what a dream, I didn't picture this. The videos just make it all look like it's cash and bitches. I miss the day when I can find a real escape in music. And now I just get anxious every time I listen to it. Yeah, it's Twitter feed is garbage. I'm feeding it to myself and comparing myself to others. Is Ooh, that Twitter feed is garbage and I'm feeding it to myself. I can relate to that shit, man. Oh, I took forever to get on Twitter. I never wanted to be on Twitter, to be honest with you, because I saw what it did to people, right? But you get to a certain point when you when you're in the social media world when you have to depend on it right so if you have a youtube channel if you're an independent rapper or anything like that you have to depend on social media you have to be on twitter you have to be on ig in order to promote yourself but it gets to the point where you get sucked in it's like my twitter goes off every friggin two seconds but you have to get on there because you have to promote yourself but then you also have to like feed yourself that garbage of what people are saying about you. And it drives your mind crazy. The other thing, he spent a decade building and building what he wanted, which was a music career. And now, yeah, he's got a little bit of money, but it's like he was happier before he had all that shit, he feels like. Yet he thought back then he would be happier once he got all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Words of wisdom, man. You guys pay attention. Building this house, then wanna move out. You lose now, then everybody talking shit was right. But what does it matter in the grand scheme of life, right? Like what a dream, I didn't picture this. The videos just make it all look like it's cash and bitches. I miss the day when I can find a real escape in music. And now I just get anxious every time I listen to it. Yeah, it's way to feed is garbage. I'm feeding it to myself and comparing myself to others is killing my mental health. Uh, my girl is telling me that I should hit a meeting. Yeah, but I don't wanna hit a another fucking meeting damn i feel bad all the time being stuck in my head and then expecting her to come and talk me off the fucking ledge that ain't a friend that's a codependent i hold the shit and know the truth but i just won't admit it and yeah i told you i would stop and take a break but did it i know it's hard for me to chill when i don't know the ending and the truth is when i think about the end that shit is scary too but if there's one thing that i know i want to be with you the only 
the constant in the world that's always changing And these fans can be fickle The music, it might not make it I'm just being real I'm not gonna gas this shit up Like it's the greatest shit ever Nah, if you like it, you like it, fuck I'm not gonna put the pressure on me to impress who? A bunch of strangers on the net who never met you But know this shit talk is likes and another 10 views So rip apart your dream cause I'm dying to be accepted too Nah, I'm done being the punching bag For punching bags, go and punch I ain't punching back Something snapped, I might never be the same again But I feel better after writing this I'm saved again The cause of my stress, the cure for my woes And yeah, I'm happy right now That's the way that it goes, so how many times have I told you guys, music is my therapy. Music is his therapy, man. He feels better after he wrote that shit. That was... Yes. I'm telling you, there are certain rappers, independent rappers out there right now that I'm paying attention to. Even though you guys don't see me reacting to them all the time, there are some special up-and-coming rappers that... And that's why I told you I wanted to save at least one of my reactors days every week to the new and up and coming rappers because there are some special guys out there and girls lyricist lyricists that are out there that are saying some real fucking shit okay they're special and i'm paying attention to them and what they're putting out and i'm gonna start promoting them on my channel because it's important especially for the independent rappers they need us the reactors to present them in the right way and promote their music, okay? Echo is one of them. He's a special dude, man. He really is. And he's talking about some real shit. Social media is a monster. If you let it, it will chew you up and spit your ass out. And you can't let it feed into you like that. You can't. You, ha you use it. Use it for what you can get out of it. Don't let it use you. Because he's right. The people on the other side of it are just a bunch of faceless, nameless people that you don't know. And you're trying to impress them, yes, because you need their, you need their support to sell your music. But there's also an equal amount of trolls out there that are just going to make you feel like shit about yourself. So you can either get caught up in that shit and start you know, abusing substances, alcohol, whatever, feed into that life and destroy yourself. Or you cannot. He's also saying he's got a good woman who's holding him down. But is it more that she's holding him down or is it codependence? He thinks it's codependence. So make it not about codependence. Make it about love. It's a dope song. There is a challenge going on, he says in the beginning. It's not, this one's not about the challenge. It's just him speaking the truth. And he is. I think it's dope. Echo, I think you're dope. Keep on doing what you're doing. Dude, stay on your grind because it's going to be worth it in the end. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Anyone who speaks their truth is, they're my kind of people. All right. You guys have a fantastic day. We got more coming. Sun is shining. It's still cold as fuck where I live right now. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. Anyway, you guys, please, please, please stay safe. Stay healthy. Please take the necessary precautions to make sure that that is what is happening. Okay? To all of our healthcare professionals, to all of our truck drivers and delivery pe people in restaurants, people giving us food, to all the people who stock the shelves in the grocery stores, making sure that we have the shit that we need, to all of our first responders, our pol firemen, police officers, paramedics, EMTs, thank you guys so much. I so appreciate you guys. You guys are putting yourselves in harm's way in order to make sure that we are okay. And I can't thank you guys enough. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, what the hell are you waiting for? Subscribe. You guys are watching anyway. Comment, like, hit that bell so you know when I drop my next video. And what else, guys? Yes, it's all about love in 2020 and beyond. And as always, take care of each other because no one else is going to. Ciao.